previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Don't close your... <laughs> Don't close your eyes to fall asleep because I'll miss you, baby. And I don't want to die today. You see me when I dream of you. Ah! And now back to my childhood. Hello! Sneako B. Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. When we last left off, we helped out the people of Sector 5 slums, and it was fun. You know, I, I'm not going to say that, like, what we did was necessarily, like, a, an amazing group of side quests, but they were fun, you know? And I, that's the, the thing about, like, uh, even menial side quests in a game where the gameplay is so fun, it, it, they still, it still ends up becoming pretty enjoyable, you know? And it wasn't like we didn't get any characterization from that. No, we definitely did. We definitely got some moments with uh, Aerith and Cloud and learning some about the people here. But I don't know if it was quite as much as the, the first one, the, the first one we did with Tifa. Like I thought the one where the, the lady ended up being, ended up being the thief was like, oh, come on. And we saw that come from like a mile away. But I, I don't know how much that's really gonna play into anything if it does. I mean, maybe it will. Maybe it's somewhere we're gonna see that see thief lady again and she'll like play into the main story. That'd be fucking cool. Or another side quest even. But I'm starting to see now too, like, man, this, this battle system can kick your ass if you're not ready. You really gotta come in prepared. And some tips you've, you guys have given me. One thing you should probably do is when you're healing somebody, um, or if you're healing yourself, you might want to switch to a different character um, because the enemy tends to want to focus on the character that you are controlling. So if you uh, have another character heal instead, or just have your guy heal, then switch to somebody else, they'll be less likely to get interrupted. So I see. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, and the other thing with the synergy uh, materia, and I sort of realized it when I went back to, to watch last episode, when I went back to edit. So basically, all it really does is when it's it's set into place here. Uh, did I take it off? I think I did. Um, but I had it here where where the uh, barrier material was, and uh, with I had it with the ice materia. So basically, anytime I attack with uh, the character that is not Aerith, um, she will cast Blizzard. It can be a regular physical attack or a magic attack, whatever. She will cast Blizzard. It actually ended up being really good for the fight that I ended up sort of unintentionally using it in because. Uh, she started casting Blizzard on the guys that were weak to Blizzard, so they ended up melting, like, super fast. Okay, I mean, that's... So, it's it's sort of like the auto-cure thing. It's a bit like a gambit again, right? Like, having your giving your party something else to do aside from just, you know, physically attacking, which is kind of what they do if they don't... If they're not in control, right? I see. It's not super useful. I think that's only really going to be useful if you're going to a fight and you know what the enemy's weak to. Um, it does seem like the species, though, of, anim uh, of uh, monsters here, right? Like, they do seem to have a consistent weakness, I think. Like, Hedgehog King was weak to ice. Hedgehog Pie King was weak to ice. Um, let's see, what other variants? Like, the weird fucking, uh, yeah, these things. Gas strikes. Weak to ice, weak to ice. Uh, Venomantis, weak to ice. I, I think it is. So I think you can sort of plan ahead here. Um, so, like, if, and it, but mainly for bounties, right? If you see the enemy and what they look like, and you're like, all right, we're about to head into this fight. Better put the synergy material for this one on so that uh, when you're attacking with the other character, they're just constantly spamming uh, ice and stuff. So that might work pretty well. But that's really, I think, the only situation where I see it being super useful because you can only synergize with one element. And the element you use could either, one, not be what they're weak to, or two, hell, I mean, it could, it could even be what they're actually, like, strong to. But at the same time, you also could just could just give them the command to cast blizzard you know when their atb atb is full this is just like a slightly more efficient way of having them do it but anyway last episode uh crazy bagel said <laughs> cloud enters vr cloud all right looks fine i guess hey cloud looks to his right yagami yeah, first time <laughs> oh guys right we're back in the vr guys we're back to fucking paradise vr yet again turn our millions and millions of yen while searching for, for that golden nyan nyan and avoiding the evil nyan nyan and also fighting waves upon waves of enemies. Jesus Christ. I didn't play so much Paradise VR in that game. Also unlock all the extra bonus shit. It was like, fuck man, why? Why do they have to have so, so many of the stupid skills he got in the game you had to get through by laying on a specific tile in Paradise VR. It's like, fuck you, dude. You live by the VR, you die by the VR. Just can't escape that shit. <laughs> anyway, Crazy Bagel, thank you so much for Opening my eyes to that sudden realization. I kind of forgotten about that. Maybe I think I started to block some of that uh, paradise shit out of my mind. 
And that's that reason you are comment of the day. Anyway, you guys gave me some other tips. One thing apparently uh, is there is actually a missable uh, music track coming up in around chapter nine. What am I on? Chapter chapter eight? So it's like a, apparently it's like a tutorial you get. And if you get a perfect score on it, you'll get a music track. But if you don't, then you miss it and you miss it for like the rest of the game. So, okay, I'll... uh. You said apparently it's pretty obvious when you get there. So, okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Also, apparently if I uh, if I stay near a jukebox with uh, Cloud or anybody else while the music's playing, there's actually, we'll actually start dancing. And so we're going to test that in a bit. I definitely want to fucking see that. I like an idle animation. Cloud's just going to bust a move be like, you <laughs> start doing the soldier boy dance. Bear comes out, soldier boy up in that hole. Watch it, you didn't want me wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, gonna super soak that hoe. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Why did I? Why did I say that? Ah. Why did I give myself that fucking visual? Oh yes. And the other thing too was that uh, a lot of people were, were also confused about why all the kids had wooden buster swords when I had only been in the town for like a little bit of time. But there might be another reason why that is the case. We have another character that came here before me with a similar sword. Mmm. Mmm. I don't want to bring up who that is, but that's uh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. That actually, uh, ooh, very intriguing. That is very interesting. If that is the case, which actually wouldn't make a lot of sense, that is uh, a serious attention to detail. I mean, granted, I don't think I see. I don't think I saw the kids with the swords on their back until I helped them. I don't think. But I mean, they weren't really introduced by that time either. At least maybe not those ones specifically. It seems like it's only the kids that are on quote unquote watch, right? They had that. Um. Anyway, so we're back at the church here. You guys sort of told me that by this point, there was a good chance that I might be able to get back into the church now. So good point. And I might be able to get that material that's in there. <laughs> Rena's just waiting in here. Hey, how's it going? Uh, ah, shit. Got him. All right. Another thing that actually happened the previous episode, I actually meant to say this, uh, but, but I forgot. So it turns out in that scene where uh, you first meet Reno, uh, there's a moment right where you you have to approach Aerith to continue the the cutscene. Um, if you actually try to go for the door, you'll actually hear Reno and the other soldiers out there like waiting to make their entrance. And Reno will be like, "Go back to the girl" or something. Holy shit, man! That's fucking awesome. That's just like the original game. That, you know what? It's funny. Like now that I hear that. Now I get what they were trying to go for in the original game. Because be honest, I was actually really confused by that scene as a kid. Because in the original, you're, you're talking with Aerith, and at some point, the camera's face like this, right? And you can see the door, and you just see Reno standing, like, he comes in and stands in front of the door, and you can go talk to him, and he's like, go keep talking with the girl. And I'm like, what? Who are you? What? It's like, it's so weird. And then you go back and talk to Aerith, and then suddenly he's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I, I see. He was trying to make an entrance, and just like he's he was doing here. Damn, that's so fucking cool, man. I love it. Hey, look, the flowers are fine. I'm going to run through them. Okay, where is it? There it is. Give it to me. Or oh, it's just a fucking chakra material. Come on, man. I don't want more chakra material. I already got, I already got some. But I don't, but I barely use it as it is. Oh, I thought I got some super special, super super dank and special. Oh, I'm actually starting to understand now how this works with the armor here. So the way it works is the bangle is the is the is the balanced one, right? With Usually, maybe a decent number of slots. The bracelet is the one that's weaker, but has more slots. The bracer is the one with more defense, but less magic. And the armlet is the one with more magic defense, but less de regular defense. Interesting. I can just sort of tell by the, the name of it. Clever. I'm actually going to risk it and put the, the bracelet on a cloud just to just so I can get some extra material slots. I want to have a steel material on him because... Probably fighting a boss soon. And the combination with the luck up will probably help uh, increase his chances of stealing some good stuff. Is there anything else in here? Seriously, if, if that was all that was in here, that is a lame fucking reward, all right? Chakra material is only okay. Oh, oh there's a chest over here too. What talisman? Uh, engraved with an ancient script. Increases one's power of concentration. Spirit by 5%. So basically more magic defense. It's interesting I was doing it by percentages this time. In the original game, it was just like a base, you know, number that went up. But it's actually smarter to do it by percentages because then that means as you level up, you don't like, you know, it doesn't become obsolete. All right. I think that uh, might be all that's in here. Let's dance it, Aerith. <laughs> Aerith's got hip hop going. What about Cloud, though? Is he going to do anything? No, I'm too cool for this shit. I'm not going to dance. Come on. I don't know. Cloud doesn't seem to be doing anything. It needs to be just Aerith. 
She's just doing a little head bob. Yeah, it just seems to be Aerith. I, honestly, I'm not surprised, though. I, I really I actually would have been shocked if Claw really was like, D -d 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 start fucking getting jiggy with it. I, mean, I haven't reached that point yet, or I haven't opened up enough. I'm still such a fucking hard ass. Get him away! Of course. Stanley look alike. God, seriously, these guys look actually a little bit like Stanley. Hey, man, it's three other brothers. Also, I guess apparently someone was actually a doctor here that was voiced by Chris Hackney, the guy who did Dimitri. I don't remember who, which doctor that is exactly, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we get to hear him say some shit again. All right, let's head back. So I'm, is it going to be rude? That's, oh yeah. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy. <laughs> He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Oh! Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <laughs> oh my god! Rude's so fucking badass, alright. Don't take it personal. Oh, big kick! You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Oh shit, here we go! No need to get oh, oh, bro! Come on, bro! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, god, mistakes are made! Hold on! Oh, fuck! Oh, bro! Ah! Oh no! no, 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 no! Oh my god! What the fuck, Root? Spinning me in fucking sir. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Oh no! That is a bad place to be! Oh god, I'm about to die. Okay, he's weak to wind, which I don't have equipped. Not fire. Great resistance to. Whatever that icon is. You need to do a few things. Uh, oh god. Operative with the Turks unit of Shinra's, uh, Shinra's General Affairs Division. He possesses incredible strength and a well-toned physique. He prefers using fists over weapons. When attacks rapidly fills wind his stagger gauge. Damn it! Uh, alright. Well, I don't have that equipped, so we're gonna have to just do this the regular way. Uh, I wonder... So, I can steal a Mega Potion, but he also drops a Mega Potion, which makes me wonder if I steal it, does he still drop it? I'm thinking probably, but... <sighs> alright. Moment I get out of this, I'm about to eat... I'm about to eat shit. Ah! Uh, oh, I think I actually missed me. <laughs> oh shit, he's coming! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh no! He grabbed me! Went through my guard! Jeez! Soldier. <laughs> Soldier, huh? First class. Uh, okay, um, uh, Aerith, I'm gonna need some, uh, I'm gonna need some big barrier. Every little bit helps. Let's do this. Ah, Allow me. Oh, that's not the one I want to do. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh man, it's so fucking awesome. I love it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so I love it. Okay, okay. Um, what are, there's something. Oh, that's right. I want to steal. All right, give me your shit, man. Is it under? Yeah, here we go. I feel the steel, damn it! <laughs> He's coming! He's a coming! 
Try again. Yeah. Fail to steal. Come on, man. You're going down. Ah! Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Oh shit! I broke the glasses. So you had enough yet? I <laughs> hit another bear. I don't believe that I have. <laughs> oh god. Ah! Can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wrong one. <laughs> Fuck. I'll take care of you. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't it? <laughs> As I get fucking body slammed. Shit. Ah. How's that payback working out for you? Oh, better than expected. <laughs> okay, come on, I want the side up. Really? Dude, I get the luck up and everything. Get ready. Why do I keep doing that? Am I an idiot? It doesn't work. All right, he's go his grab goes through the guard. Oh, I got my loot break. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Eric. Won't, won't give up. Actually, I could also use uh Fuck. Man, I cannot get this shit. It's hard stealing stuff. What's up with that? Pressure gauges down all the way through. Damn it, I've spent all this time trying to get this dumb item. Still some as MP. What's he doing? Man, I cannot get this. What? Why is this so difficult? It's just a mega potion. I just. Oh, big punch. There we go. Got it. Oh my God, it only took 30 tries. Not looking good. Stay strong, okay? All right. Tough for the big fucking guns. <laughs> Feeling pressured. That's it. All right, Aerith. It's your time to shine now. Sweet dreams. Fine, but... Oh no. <laughs> Wake up, Aerith. Gotta be we got bitches to kill. There. Give it up. Get ready. <laughs> Oh man, he really just not like that. Uh. Let's go. Fuck, wrong move. Defending himself there. I won't give up. Yeah, I see. He's just, he's just going straight for me. He's really kind of ignoring Aerith until I take control of her. Yeah, I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing that. When he starts defending, you gotta move the fuck away. <laughs> ah! Boom, baby. Please, just leave us alone. Damn, that was a cool ass fight. You know I can't do that. <laughs> ah! Yo, what up? Hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but 
but we're needed on standby for a job as something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Oh my god, man. That's so fucking awesome. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you see this history, right? The Turks have already with Aerith. She's just like, it's like, she already knows Rude pretty well by this point. But why, you may ask? Oh, man. I'm so glad they introduced Rude earlier. Damn, that was, that was fucking amazing. I love that. That was perfect. It was perfect, man. That was exact. That was Rude. That was him. That was fucking him. P Neil's personality, everything was just spot on. <laughs> I love how he grabs you, spins you around, and chucks you with the other person. <laughs> Uh, that was, that was amazing. Fuck, man. This game's so awesome, guys. This game's so fucking awesome. Uh, I need to go find a chair to sit on. Uh, I'm glad I managed to get that mega potion. Oh, actually, I didn't, I didn't even pay attention if I ended up getting another mega potion alongside the one that I stole. I guess I'll have to check when I go back to edit. Um, what? So, you coming? I'm coming. The language of flowers. Oh, is this maybe uh, a bonus thing that I wouldn't have gotten if uh, I didn't know to do all the side quests? Maybe? Holy shit, Clive. Could you move any slower? Come on, man. Your baby girl's waiting for you. <gasps> There's the purple materia! Is that the cover materia? Oh my god, it's just like the original game. You talking to the... <laughs> so, yeah. It was that kind of day. Hello, low-rest flowers. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep Mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Oh. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Yeah? Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to go. Clyde, you're such a dork. <laughs> Come on, man, pick it up. Learn to talk to her. Did huh? the flowers say anything? Uh, good work today, guys. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh. No, the flower said learn to talk to her, man. Oh my god, that, that sea was fucking adorable. And oh my god, there's fucking purple material. It's like the original game. It's actually cover materia? No way. It couldn't possibly be. It isn't. <laughs> I actually would have been surprised because Bear basically has the cover 
quote unquote cover material in his one of his abilities, the lifeline or whatever. Um, that's like basically that's basically the cover material. They they gave that to Barrett as like an ability. I still like that though. I, they you know they did that. That was just that was a, just a little nod towards the original game with a. Okay, we still got that purple material that you know you we know you guys like so much over in Eris House up in the corner. Some MP up, all right. I will take it. <laughs> it's, it's it's literally in the exact same spot too. I love that man though. Like that, that just like little shit like that is just. Oh, like that. You just feel it, man. You feel that love. That's like, yeah, we're going to do that. Only people who play the original will get it, but that's all right. That's fucking all right. And I love that, man. Little details like that make Nico so fucking happy. This game is too beautiful. Stop it. You're too beautiful. Come over, come over here, baby. No, you come here, baby. Nah. Ah, that's right. I want to see that just happen just randomly. You know, I'd be totally fine with it, too. Just like Clyde just starts making out with Aerith or Tifa or something. Like, yeah, going in. Every new game has a 0.00001% chance of that happening. But God damn it, that one person, that one person who gets it, it's going to have a magical goddamn playthrough. <laughs> damn, Root's so fucking cool, man. Yeah, he's basically the uh, the Tifa of the Turks, right? So he's just all fist. All right, I think we're uh, all finished. Unless I want to go play some more whack a box. Whack a box. Nah, I'm good. You're heading in already? I mean,. Is there something else you want to do? Nah, not quite yet. Uh, wait. Oh, damn, we say it like that, Aerith, and I'm nervous I missed something. I don't think I did. Fuck, all right. Nah, fine, fine. When you, okay, we're going to just do one quick run around. I swear to God, Aerith. I swear to God, if you're just making a waste of my damn time, I'm going to run around, make sure there's not some stupid shit that suddenly popped up. Now that that's all done. Or like a random cutscene. Where are you going? I don't know. Just trying to see if there's anything else going on here. Okay, that's yeah, that path goes somewhere. Alright. Well, if it isn't the Merc. Folks have been saying only good things. <gasps> be sure to look you up if I need help too. Oh my god, it was him! This is the doctor right here. That was fucking Chris Acne. Yeah! You guys were right. That was that was totally him. Dimitri, what are you doing here? I became a doctor and less of a boy. Good for me. <laughs> This is the universe where I went to college <laughs> and not murder college. Okay, then we're done. I think just hearing Aerith say like, well, we're heading back already. Like, like I missed some shit. I think she's just fucking with me though, all right? You're heading yes, in we're going in. We're going, Aerith. Yeah, that's enough for one day. It's no fucking shenanigans. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. Take a load off. Oh, okay. no. No, don't leave me alone with your mom. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, I'm about to get chewed the fuck out here. Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? What do you think was gonna happen, Aerith? You think your mom was gonna be like, oh, good, good jobs, honey. Good job, Cloud. Thanks for taking my daughter out to all these murderous areas. I've never been so proud. <gasps> oh my God. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl <laughs> can keep you on the straight and narrow. Oh my god. Tell you when you're being a silly goose. <laughs> a silly goose? That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Oh. Cloud's mom. Cloud's mom's name's Claudia. <laughs> Cloud and Claudia. Oh. Don't want to 
overstay my welcome. Oh, I'm glad they did that. I can't remember if that was when they originally showed that scene, but that was perfect that they showed it here. You know, her mom reminded him of his mom. I always thought that was a cute scene when he was talking, when he's talking to his mom in the original. She's over there just like, be like, like, you should go find yourself a good girl. I was like, oh, leave me alone, mom. <laughs> it's like, oh, so cute. Uh, all right. Okay, we got to sneak out, guys. Do you want Earth to catch us? I wonder if I got to walk out. And they originally had to actually, he did have to sneak out. He had to walk out of there and not let, step on any fucking random cracks in the floor. See if I can do it again. See if I can do it here. <laughs> or it'll be funny if a crack happens. I'll be like, ah, oh, sorry. I had to go take a dump or something. Uh, see, we don't have a bathroom. We just go in the lake outside. Ew. Okay, is there anything in here? I don't think there is. Go out the window, Cloud. Eric's gonna be right behind the door. <laughs> ah! Oh shit, I gotta do it. <laughs> I do. I gotta sneak out. <laughs> Try to sneak. Oh god, this Aerith comes out. Hey, what are you doing, silly baby? You get back in there. <laughs> Try to sneak out of the house without letting Aerith spy you. Be careful not to bump into anything by accident. Aerith will notice if you make too much noise. Oh shit. Okay. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh my god, look at all these fucking physics objects on the floor. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry. You'll feel much better in the morning. <laughs> I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. I gotta be real sneaky, guys. Gotta avoid. I like this. This is a line of physics objects. I gotta avoid. Don't let her hear me again. Oh, come on. All right. All right. I got this shit. It's okay. I'm just gonna punt the fuck out of this bucket. All right. Careful. Slightly. Uh. Oh. Put all this shit here. Why? I feel like Aerith set a trap for me. Turn the corner. It's just not some random crack in the floor like last game. There was a, there was a game, there was just like this there was like one floor that, that had, had a big creak in it when you stepped down. So how do I get to sector seven? It's simple enough. But you had just no idea it was there. Six. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Aw. I'm sorry. It's fine. Your daughter's weird anyway. I know. I know. Ooh, we get to see what it looks like in uh, early morning here. Or I guess late evening. Cool. Oh, it's neat seeing this place kind of illuminated at night. All right, I'm out of here. See you, Aerith. Run, Cloud! Oh, a teacher. Hi. If it isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. <laughs> oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. Whatever, I'm just never seeing her fat ass again. The kids are talking about you like they found themselves a new hero. Thank you for being there for the children. I really appreciate it. Don't push yourself too hard. The kids are talking about you. Thank you for being there for the children. I, really I was actually wondering if she might mention you be like, Found us a new hero, like the last guy was here. What? Oh, nothing. Who knew talking to kids about the past would make me feel so sentimental? <laughs> I can still hear the sound of the reactor exploding over and over again. Oh, God. This guy going through some PTSD over here. Or Chadley's out here. I'll check out Walmart while I'm down here. Chadley out here just like... <laughs> just standing in the same place. He never sleeps. Oh, it is kind of eerie. Just how quiet and Gramps has been dead it is out here. Ever since he heard about what happened. Nah, I don't see Chadley anywhere. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm going down that way. All right. Smell you later, Aerith. Sam's delivery service. I like to hear just the... 
A slight squeak of that rotating. Very ambient. <gasps> oh my god! Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. Just like in the original game, she somehow fucking teleports her, her ass down here. How the hell did you get in front of me, Aerith? What are you doing here? Waiting. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. Aw. <laughs> Lead on then. Chapter on the pleasure. The town that never sleeps. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Huh? <gasps> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. I'm just imagining the intro to the game suddenly. Oh, Shell Myra's gonna be so pissed at me. Reunited. Ooh. Oh, you're like traveling this section now at like nighttime. Or early uh early morning. Oh shit, guys. So this is this is it. This is the part of the game where you normally find a fucking house. Will I find a house out here? Uh, okay, what we got? Big, long path. Holy shit, it's way down there. Okay. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... Hmm. Ooh, I like this music. Ah, <gasps> there it is. And that's the underside of Sector Six, Wall Market, a real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well. It took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Oh my god, I can't wait. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. <laughs> that's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was back when I was a kid. Ooh, okay. Wait, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Eric's like, no! <laughs> okay, fine. Ooh, oh god, I can't fucking wait. Cannot wait to go to Wall Market, guys. It was basically in the original game, it was like the Vegas of Midgar. In, in some ways, I mean, it wasn't. Wasn't really, I didn't really have gambling, but it was uh, a boisterous place. We're full of a lot of weird shit, and I loved it so much. I'm just, I, I just can't wait to see how do they handle it here? What do they do with it? What, like, insane shit could happen there. I can already tell me from a distance, like, damn, it's, uh, look, it looks almost oriental, like those, uh, buildings over there. And that's the way the other one was, kind of, too. Some of the buildings there were, like, they had some shanty and kind of crappy buildings, but then. They also had these really weirdly extravagant buildings that looks like they mimicked like uh, Asian shrines. It was cool. Where are you taking me, Aerith? <laughs> Aerith's little run. Wait, Aerith, I got some boxes to break. <laughs> All right, those boxes are dead. Don't worry, we're safe now. My hero cloud. Ooh. Cl 
Collapsed Expressway. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Ooh, this music. Ooh, cool. This is a, this is a new song. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Turf the cold! It's one of those seahorse enemies again. Yeah, this, this, this is totally new music here. Uh, aquatic monsters that prefer dark, moist places and feed on the blood of living creatures. They detect their prey through vibrations and temperature changes. Creatures start spinning when interrupted. Okay, booga booga booga. Here we go. Here we go. Oh fuck. Oh god, go back, go to Aaron. I'll take care of them. This one's for you. Feeling chilly? Uh, that's one of the problems. You can't really uh Except him with regular attacks, son. One more shot. Here. Ah! Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's moving too much. I can't. Is there lyrics to this song in the background? I heard some like. Oh God, dragon! I see a dragon. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. A lesser drink. Actually, this might be the thing I hunted down before. So, in that one uh, quest. I got you. Maybe. That's it. Did I scan him? I don't think I did. Ah! Oh, God. I'll show you what I can do. Hang back. Gotcha. gotcha. Allow me. Uh, weak to wind, yeah. I, I think it is. It's sort of the way you can sort of play it out in this game is just knowing that uh, certain enemies, what the, the species type, right, determines what they're like, what they're weak to. I'm also bringing some wind material in here, though. Ah! Strike this guy down. If I could, oh god, hit the ground. Boom. Nothing to it. Yeah, it did. Sector 7 slums. Yeah, we're getting a lot of enemies that are uh, weak to wind. Might want to switch out the fire then, maybe? What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Ah! Uh... I don't know about that. Yeah, I think this actually... I was wondering if this was going to be the same place from the original with... I think it is. Or similar, at least. Which was like full of all these weird like giant robo parts that were kind of like, what is this and why is it here? But we don't really talk about it. They're just... Oh, another Moogle medal! Oh, looks like I get to control it, maybe? Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. Time to move the big robo arm. I wonder if we can use this. Damn right we can. Uh, okay, rotate and lower arm. Warning for safety. Only load or unload the arm within the area marked by the yellow lines. Okay. Oh, I see. That's, oh, that's cool. Pick up a truck. Burp, burp, burp. Cloud. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Oh, God. All right, come here, girl. Huh. Okay, we. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Glad! Ah! Higher! <laughs> Cloud, I swear to God! Don't you fuck about now! Oh, I'm just joshing you. Alright, here we go. Piece of cake! Give me a sec! And here comes the ladder! High five, Robo Arm! Well, what did I tell you? did good. 
Okay, I think I got everything down here. Oh my god. Do it, Cloud! Alright, good enough. <laughs> Let's keep on trucking. Double high five, come on! Damn it, see, Tiva and Barrett did it earlier and Cloud didn't do it either. It's by the end of this game, Cloud's gonna give somebody a fucking high five. That's when we'll know Cloud has really progressed as a character. Oh fuck! Sweeper prototype! Ah! Uh. I got, your I got your number. An early prototype of the sweeper. Due to the malfunctioning AI the engineers could never fix, these units deemed a failure and discarded in the slums where they lived on. Okay, still weak to thunder though, so. Bam! Bam. Oh god. Oh my god. What the fuck? That did 800 damage? Are you kidding me? Okay, up and at him. Go on. Stay strong. Oh god. Oh, that was uh close. Oh Jesus. He's mad. He's very angry. Do I have thunder on her? I don't. Get him. Can you take over for me? Uh oh. Ah! Let her go. Ah! There. Ah! Stagger the fuck out of you. Whew! Painful. Wait, is there something over here? Oh, she just said that. There used to be a way through this section here, I see. Uh, okay. Going down. Ooh. Two high potions. Squeeze between the gap. Back here? Nope. Uh oh, more seahorses. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. It's on you. I'm coming. All right, hit him with the wind. Enjoy the ride. That is. Boom. <laughs> ah, fuck. Blown away. Boom. <laughs> that fucker's dead. Oh wait, no, he's not. Now he is. Boxes. Must destroy all boxes. Oh, chest. Ooh, a thousand gil. You know, I gotta say though, uh, I'm getting so much money in this game now. Like, I'm just seen thousand, but I feel like I don't have a whole lot to buy with it. I mean, I guess there's materia, but like, I'm honestly finding almost all the materia that is in the shops. You know, out and out and about. Um, and there aren't too many really weapons to buy either. I've been sort of earning those as well, so I feel like I, uh, <laughs> holy shit, Aerith, watch out. These things I got spring to life? I don't trust you. But yeah, I feel like I haven't had a whole lot to buy with yet. Looks like a dead end. Huh. I see another big hand. Oh, and a chest. Mega potion. Oh no, they did spring to life. I fucking knew it. Smogger. Try to stay behind me. Eat my dang thunder. Uh, fucking dead. Holy shit, I'm just gonna move away. 
Uh, I can't really come that way when you've got all that shit everywhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, if there's one spell that doesn't really, like... You don't necessarily need to cast the lower version of it. It's thunder, because thunder will always hit the enemy. Watch out, Aerith! Ah! Straight ship, bitch. Oh. Another crane thing. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Uh, okay. Thank you, conveniently placed hand. Give me that container. Rah, mine. Oh, I see some green stuff. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? <gasps> do it, Cloud. Come on, Cloud. Give her a high five. Dang it. Oh, I, I just don't know. Oh, don't know how to use my hands. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, Clyde's gonna go a step even further. He's gonna do a fucking chest bump with one of these I'm ladies. Oh, I see. I gotta put it over here, make a little path, all right? Okay. Oh, Good box. You stay there. While I go pick up the Wafu. You stay here. Me go. No following. Okay, come on, Aerith. Let's uh oh, oh god. Go get the green stuff. <sighs> oh look, I see anything over here! I swear to god, Aerith! Hold on a second. <laughs> Good. Verb of binding material. Ooh. Gotcha. That sounds fancy. Okay, pack in you go. Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Thank you. All right, what does this do? Binding material allows you to use disruptive spells. Oh, cool. So sleep, silence, and berserk. You, you know, the problem with these kinds of materia, though, at least in the original game, is that most of the bosses in the game are usually... Well, honestly, this is actually this for most Final Fantasies in general, is that they're usually immune to status effects. Um, So silence, sleep, and berserk. I'm kind of curious. Like, let's look at the enemy intel. Like, Rue, what was he strong to? Uh... It was, he was strong to silence, but not sleep. But again, not like I had this, I could use it on him. Reno, silence, was immune to that. Uh, Chromogger was, couldn't go to sleep. I don't know, maybe, maybe this will have a use then. It's not gonna work on the fucking machines though. Yeah, just the people. Oh, you actually could silence uh, like Shiva too. Well, well, I guess we'll have to see what, what the bosses are from this point onward. But that's like sort of the, always been the issue with these status inducing materia or skills or spells or anything in Final Fantasy games is that the bosses are always immune to them. So there's like n almost never a point of doing it. You don't need them for the regular enemies. You need them for like, you want to use them for the bosses, but they're like, eh, if you do that, though, it's going to make the bosses too easy, which is always kind of been the problem. I don't know. It looks like, though, they if the enemy, if the bosses end up being like the previous ones where there's still like one status effect that they're... Wow. They can be afflicted with, and it could come in handy. Hold up, Aerith. Uh, oh god, I see a bed and breakfast over here. Uh, oh, <gasps> more stuff. We. Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Is this where we're supposed to go? God damn it, it is, isn't it? What's going the way we're supposed to go? I want to go the way we weren't supposed to go. I well, guess there's a dead end over there. We had to come this way. I, I guess. Why am I walking? Run. That's, that's kind of the problem I've with this game is where I'm like, I'll go one way. I'll be like, oh, that's the way it's just to go. Let's go this way. And then it turns out, nah, I actually was going to go over to that end, find there was a dead end, and then run this back this way anyway. Let me look over here. Ooh. Got a new tune. 
Uh, ooh, co a jazzy Cosmo Canyon. It's like it's right up in fucking Red 13's eye socket. Yeah, give me some of that shit. Uh, any stuff? No, not really. Interior? Nope, it's all the same. Oh, there it is. I, I was like, I was having a hard time hearing that melody. Da, 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 da. I do like a lot of these remixes, though. I am glad that they're like these separate things in it. And I, they're not really acting as like the actual replacements for these songs in game and like in cutscenes. Because then I would have been like, eh, I don't know if I agree with that. But but in this instance, where it's just like a bonus, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, cool. All right, Papa Squat Cloud. Yeah. Yep, I gotta go back the other way anyway. That looks like a big area for a boss fight. I just realized I didn't fight a house down here. Ah, <laughs> oh, they might have got rid of that enemy. It was pretty wacky. I mean, well, I don't know. Is this the same area though? I can't really tell. We're like, we're going away from Walmart, so I'm not really sure if this is the same area that's supposed to be. But this has the robo hands. I don't know. But yeah, it was like a, there was just this regular enemy. It was so fucking funny in the original game. <laughs> it, was, it was a literal house that you fought. And you had to beat the shit out of. I don't know. We might find him again later. Might see him later, but. Anybody around? Any bosses? Guess it's just us. Hmm. Huh? A fire. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? Oh yeah. We need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some burglars. Who the some fuck are these guys? Stealing our shit, doing crimes. <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compliment uh, composite. I don't get it. Ah. Oh, guys, the Gooby music. It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> okay, these guys were not in the original game. Due recompense? Due recompense? No recompense! Due recompense. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, Stop using words on me. Oh, <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Oh, Earth's about to fucking murder them. All right. So. <laughs> what the hell? Who the hell are you, assholes? Why am I fighting you? Oh, God, you stunned me. Wake me up. Oh, piece of shit. Kill this guy. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, or is he stunned? Oh, that's right. Stun is different from sleep. All right. Assess. Wow, you're uh, kind of destroying them. Uh, a member of the of Bex Badasses, a gang based in the area around the collapsed road. Endlessly inquisitive, he constantly peppers Beck with questions. His ability is playing dead. His magic to rapidly fill. Leader of Bex Badasses, a gang, a uh, gang based in. Blah, 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 blah. He's especially bad at sizing, sizing up the strength of his enemies and not the sharpest tool in the shed. His special ability is feigning the knowledge of a things. Uh, Burke, he goes with flow and lets Beck make all decisions. His special ability is playing, also playing dead. Uh, that's going to do much good here. They're about to fucking die. Yeah. Ah! Oh, this fucking stupid so piece of shit. That's it. Fucking good. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I'm so done with you guys. Okay, I think they're dead. 
Unless they're, they're playing dead. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. <laughs> look at that guy over there. Hit him. Hit him, Cloud. I fucking see you, dipshit. I'm breaking your boxes over here. Get some fucking recompense for this shit. Just stole from them, actually. What? Do they have anything? Oh, Celerus. Celery. What is that? Do I have that? Oh, I do. I have one. I have one. Oh, hastens whoever drinks it. Just like me, it might be a good thing to get. Look, oh, goddamn! I was having a hard time stealing from Root earlier. Come on, hit him. You're alive, Cloud. I know you're still alive. I'm gonna move you away from your bat. <laughs> God damn it. All right, just keep an eye on him. Get in there. Shit, let's get the hell out of here. Who are you guys? Don't leave me, I'm coming. Go back for them, Cloud. Hunt their asses down. Damn it. Let them get away, Aerith. Ah, oh, curses. Gonna fucking find them. Guess they're gone. Is that it? Is that the big boss of this area? It's just this stupid idiot. It's like, guess so. I like how every like song in this game has like a battle version of it. Even the goofy song. Ba, ba, ba. Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? Oh. No. Not really. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do you have anyone in mind, Aerith? Huh? What we got here? What the hell? Fresh meat to test our new toy. That's what. Oh. Oh. More bandits. I actually, I forgot there actually, there were bandits in the original area of the game. This guy's in here that stole shit. Uh, Prowl of Slums, they gang up on vulnerable victims and steal their bullshit. I'm gonna steal your bullshit, man. That's right. Oh, these fucking stun grenades can suck my balls. It's your turn. It's your turn, Cloud. You just gotta wake the fucking dicks up. Wake up, Cloud. All right. Steal from the bandit. Man, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Really? Wow, stealing is uh, very difficult in this game. Although, I guess in the original it was... Could be a bit hit or miss as well. God damn it. Ah! Just like piss. Oh, God. Ah, fuck it. I don't know if I can be able to... Steal it. Cure her, please. Oh god, that was close. Okay. One last try. If this doesn't work, fuck it. Yes, I got it. All right, die. Shit. He's coming. Low love for Aerith. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Fuck, she interrupted. I think she did. This guy, I can steal a turbo ether from him, too. Ow, ow, ow. Actually, I'm realizing that's the... I'm looking at... This is the rare item they drop as well. Fire blast. Move the fuck away. Boom, baby. All right, kill us, asshole. Ah! Moving on, then. Yeah, we're... Uh, I don't think we're done with this area yet. <gasps> Blue material! I've been waiting for some fucking all materia. If I get an all materia and like put on with barrier, so I can bury to everybody or cure. Ooh, give me some super good shit. Assuming they still have it in this game, which they fucking better. I guess it right there. Oh, looks like we got a bit of a stupid ladders always out of reach. <laughs> okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got a little puzzle got this time, maybe. Oh god, we got two arms this time. 
Uh, switch arms for safety. Unload or unload. All right, I'm going to put this over here. Okay. Come here, Earth. Come to Daddy's big hand. All right, what we got? Mm-hmm. Orb of magnify material. Gotcha. Ooh, what be that? Okay, uh, can I switch arms with her still in this thing? I cannot. Oh, it's going to reset the other arm, really. Okay, I just set this one here, I guess. I think. Mm, maybe not. I get. Oh, do I have to stack them on top of each other or something? Really? Oh, Lord. Seriously, so I'm going to have to pick her up, drop her back off, go over, pick this up, put that over there, then switch to the other one and move it. I guess so. All right. It's going to take a second. Yep. Okay. Put that there. Grab this. And oh, I do. I actually see a yellow marker on top of the, the box. Showing that, yes, indeed, you can stack them. So you see what's kind of silly, though. It looks like I should I be able to put it in the same place as the other one. I guess it, I guess it can't bend down far enough, but that's the, that's the point. Okay, back to this one again. Down we go. Pick up the arrow. Okay, off you go. And now for the other one. Watch out, Aerith, they're coming! Bonk! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, crush! Crush! Ah! <laughs> I've lost control. I can't do anything. Oh, we're gonna die. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just messing with you. Fuck you, Cloud. I oh, know. Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. Aerith, high five the giant metal hands. If Cloud won't do it, they will, surely. Um, all right, what we get? Magnify materia. Allow you, allows you to expand the range of spells with the linked materia. Switch back to a single target. Press L1 when selecting a spell. Oh, this does it, yes! This is this is the all materia, I think. Expand range of linked materia. Effect reduced by 60% when expanded. Holy shit, expand range of linked materia. Oh, I see. Effect means reduce the damage. Expand the range of link material by 25%. Wow, okay. Does that work with like barrier though? I'm getting the distinct feeling that's not actually, but let's, uh, I mean, it's glowing. Okay, come on, Cloud, we're gonna do this. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> uh. Oh, Cloud's so awkward. Wait a minute, did you just? Nope. Oh god, nope. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> oh my god. So this time so this time he was going for because he was expecting her to do it, but she didn't do it, so he like he was like, oh god, that's super awkward. Oh god. But this time, there's another box another arm box puzzle. Just gonna be ready. Oh again. You want to pass the raw terror. Wait, wait, wait. We'll try. Okay. Can we do it? Half physical damage taken. <gasps> it's got the arrow next to it. This should make you stronger. Oh my god, it fucking does. Intru oh but, uh, it says it reduces the effect. Does that mean it? Uh... Hmm. In this instance, does that mean it maybe doesn't last as long? Maybe that's what it is. It doesn't last quite as long. Interesting. Very interesting. It is sort of a way to. We made it. Smell the fresh air. Oh, we're almost there. Um, it is kind of a way to make sure that the all material isn't too overpowered. Smart, but gives me more all more reason to try to level this shit up, right? <laughs> Don't give up. I think I, I hear the song saying that. <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Cloud, up top. 
Yes. Hold it, Cloud. Oh my God. Slow. Yeah. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. Oh my God. That was amazing. I love the slow. Slowly raise his hand. It's the goddamn kitty slide, guys. Mr. Kitty Slide. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... Up there looks nice. No! Ah. Uh, Come on. I'm scared of heights. No, you're not silly. You're just scared of girls. <laughs> Fine. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah. Getting close. So, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Aww. What's his name? I probably know him. Are you okay? Ah, my brain! of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Oh, interesting. She actually said his name there, I think but he couldn't hear it because of the goddamn voices in his head. In the original game, she didn't say it. She just said, it doesn't matter. When he asked, what, what was his name? I probably knew him. And she just goes, that doesn't matter. Guess swing physics? Oh yeah, we do. Urgh. Wait, I'm going to push you on the swing, Aerith. <laughs> hey, look what I can do. Uh, that was pretty awesome, right? Check it out, Aerith. Yeah, but your first boyfriend couldn't do this shit. Yeah. We got a little area over here. Got some booty! Ether? Cool. Run up the slide, Cloud. <gasps> oh my god. Yes! Do it! Wait! Oh my god! I love I can do that! Uh, I'm having fun! <laughs> I love it. Wait, let's go on this thing. What is this thing? I'm gonna pop out the top like a freaking gopher. to get back <laughs> don't worry I have a backup route for emergencies and it's safer too 
Aw. <laughs> oh. Kiss her, Cloud. Fucking kiss her. Make out with her, Cloud. Hold triangle to make out. Guess this is it then. Ready? No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me? Yes. Anything over here? Uh, Aerith, I don't want to say goodbye yet. I love you. I'm gonna play on the tires some more. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think I'm ready for real now. Shall we? Yeah. Wait a minute. Ah, look at that big old chocobo. Yeah. How the hell could you tell it was her? Oh my god, what is she wearing? Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. What in the fuck? I'll explain everything later. Oh my god, no, I just I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven. Meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? Damn, girl, you look good. I have. <laughs> I have! Yeah. yeah! Interesting, he actually talked to her this time. He didn't... Uh, in the original, he just saw her and didn't realize... He didn't get a chance to say anything. Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. <laughs> She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him, and worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. You don't know how horny Corneo is. Fine. Let's go see my other other baby girl. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. Yeah. But first, let's get back to that makeout session. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. The alpha she had on. It's totally. I, that's what I was thinking. That is what I was thinking when I made that decision earlier. When I was like, "What should you wear for our date?" Right. I was like. We don't go on a date unless they change something um, from the original, which, I mean, they could have. But no, I was deciding what she was going to wear for this next part. So I said something exotic, and now she's wearing a kimono. <laughs> a kimono. Oh, my God. I wonder what would have been the original, like, purple dress. Well, I'm sure she had it, right? She, she had to have had the original dress. It was probably something, like, mature, right? And then there was, like, one other... I was thinking sporty. That was... Yeah, mature would, would probably have been the purple dress. Sporty? I don't know what that would have been. Sports bra? <laughs> but it's the dress that she used, right? Because she, she was preparing for Cloud's date. So she already got something. But now she's using it for this thing. That's so fucking cute. I love it. I love that Tifa actually gets a different outfit. I wonder if... I wonder if I'll be able to do the same thing with Aerith here in this next part that we're coming up on, which I've been fucking looking forward to for fucking ever. How far away is this place? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. You can see where the path would have gone straight there. Yeah, this is it. It's going to be right in this big area here. I'm coming, Tifa. I'm a coming. Uh, stamp now showing on a, he's riding on a camel. There's some other guy down there. Looks like he just came out of Dollywood. Uh, damn it, Texter's loaded already. Some kind of thing. They're advertising the gala. There's the carriage. Hey, Chocobos. Good job today, boy. It's just like I've been saying. There's no faster thing on two legs than you. Ah. Uh. This might be the first time I've actually seen a full Chocobo, in person at least. And I still haven't managed to summon Chocobog yet. Watch out, Gold oh, Saucer. they're so pretty. To town real soon. Oh yeah, Gold Saucer. God, I hope in, I hope in part two or three or whatever we can breed Chocobos. Get green and red and blue and gold. Yo, what up? Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. 
Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. <laughs> What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. <laughs> huh? So... That's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. Dude, she was in there five seconds ago. What do you mean? You're like, I don't know where this person that I just saw half a second ago was. Girl, what she look like? Well. Oh, God. She's in great shape. She's a great fighter. She's great at handling the books. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What do I say? This is going to get me. Aerith be like, what? excuse me? What? She's a great fighter. She is a great fighter. It's true. Uh, how could you tell that? She's great handling the books. What? Hey, handling? Uh, I'm going for the risque one. Here we go. She's in great shape. Is that really important? Yes. Wait a minute. You talking about. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. Jesus Christ, man! What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Oh, God. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And Nasty, dude. Those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. That's pretty fucked up, so dude. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Oh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. But seriously, what was that about her being in great shape? She's got a fat ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, you mean, you mean Tifa. I've got a fat ass too, Cloud. Yeah, whatever, whatever, Aerith. <laughs> I need to find myself a shorter skirt here. God damn it, Aerith, no. Well, all right, guys. I think this seems like a good place and things here for now. Oh my God. Next episode. It's going to be fucking amazing. I can already feel it. I cannot freaking demon wait. I have been waiting so long for this fucking moment. It's one of the best moments I've seen in the original game. And I can only imagine how fucking crazy it's going to get in this one. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Pinky Penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.